Hello, welcome to the Cash Out channel, in today's video we're going to talk about what you can do about high prices in supermarkets and how to make your money go further on your purchases. High grocery prices can make it difficult to stick to a budget. To combat high prices, you can compare prices across stores, make a shopping list and stick to it, take advantage of sales and deals, buy in bulk, opt for store brands, grow your own food, avoid waste, use coupons, shop at discount stores, and buy from local farmers markets. These steps can help you save money on groceries and ensure you are getting the best value for your money. Below, we will explore each of these strategies better so that you can better understand how to apply them in your purchases. Step 1. Compare Prices Before shopping, compare prices across different stores to find the best deals. You can use websites or mobile apps for price comparison. Comparing prices between supermarkets is a process of evaluating the cost of similar products across different stores to determine which one offers the best value. This helps consumers make informed purchasing decisions and potentially save money. Price comparison can be done through various methods, such as visiting different stores, checking online advertisements and flyers, or using price comparison websites or mobile apps. When comparing prices, it's important to consider the cost per unit, as well as any promotions, sales, or discounts, to ensure you're getting the best deal. By regularly comparing prices, consumers can identify patterns and trends in pricing, and make adjustments to their shopping habits accordingly. Step 2. Make a list. Plan your meals for the week and make a shopping list based on the ingredients you need. Stick to the list while shopping to avoid impulsive buys. Making a shopping list before going to the supermarket is a way to ensure that you only buy the items you need and stay within your budget. Here's how to create an effective shopping list. Plan your meals, decide what you will be eating for the week and make a list of the ingredients you'll need. Check your pantry. Before making your list, take stock of what you already have at home. Organize by category, group items by category, such as produce, dairy, meat, etc. This makes it easier to find items in the store and reduces the risk of missing something. Stick to the list, avoid making impulsive purchases and only buy items that are on your list. Make adjustments. If you find a better deal on an item or need to make substitutions, make sure to update your list accordingly. By using a shopping list, you can save time in the store, avoid overspending, and reduce food waste. Step 3. Shop Sales and Deals Take advantage of sales, discounts, and special deals offered by stores. Check flyers and online advertisements for promotions. Supermarket promotions refer to discounts, sales, and special offers that grocery stores provide on certain products. The advantages of taking advantage of these promotions are Cost savings. Promotions allow consumers to purchase items at a lower price, potentially saving them money. Increased purchasing power. Promotions can provide an opportunity to buy more items for the same budget, increasing a consumer's purchasing power. Stockpiling. Promotions can also be an opportunity to stock up on non-perishable items that you use frequently, such as toilet paper or paper towels, at a discounted price. Variety. Promotions often highlight new products or seasonal items, providing consumers with an opportunity to try something new. Convenience. Many supermarkets send out flyers and advertisements for promotions, making it easy for consumers to stay informed and take advantage of deals. By being aware of and taking advantage of supermarket promotions, consumers can save money and make their shopping budget go further. Step 4. Buy in bulk. Consider buying non-perishable items in bulk as they often have a lower price per unit. Buying in large quantities, also known as bulk buying, can offer several advantages when shopping at supermarkets or wholesale clubs. Cost savings. Buying in bulk often results in a lower price per unit, making it a cost-effective way to purchase items. 
Stockpiling, buying in bulk can also provide an opportunity to stock up on non-perishable items that you use frequently, such as rice, pasta, or canned goods. Reduce trips to the store, by purchasing items in bulk, you can reduce the number of trips to the store, saving time and reducing the chances of making impulsive purchases. Reduced packaging waste, buying in bulk often results in less packaging waste, which can be more environmentally friendly. Convenience, shopping at wholesale clubs or bulk stores can provide a one-stop shopping experience, where you can purchase multiple items in large quantities. It's important to keep in mind that not all items are suitable for bulk buying and some products may have a short shelf life. Before making a bulk purchase, it's important to consider factors such as storage space, expiration dates, and the frequency of use for the item. Step 5. Buy store brands. Opt for store brand or generic products, as they are often less expensive than name brand items. Buying a supermarket's own brand, also known as a store brand or private label, can offer several advantages. Cost savings, store brands are often priced lower than name brand products, making them a more cost-effective option. Quality, many store brands are of similar quality to name brand products and can be a great alternative for consumers looking to save money. Variety, Supermarkets often offer a range of store brand products, providing consumers with a wider selection of products at a lower cost. Support local economy. Buying store brands supports the local economy and can help keep prices low by reducing the cost of importing and distributing name brand products. Consumer confidence. With improvements in the quality and availability of store brand products, many consumers now have confidence in the reliability and safety of these products. It's important to keep in mind that store brands may not always be the best option for all products, and it may be necessary to try a few different brands to determine which one works best for you. Additionally, store brands may not always be available for all products, so it's important to have alternatives in mind. Step 6. Grow your own food. Consider starting a garden or growing your own fruits and vegetables. This can save you money and provide fresh, healthy produce. Growing your own food offers several advantages. Cost savings. Growing your own fruits, vegetables, and herbs can save you money on groceries. Freshness. Homegrown produce is often fresher and more flavorful than store-bought produce that may have been transported long distances. Improved health, growing your own food allows you to control the use of pesticides and other chemicals, leading to a healthier diet. Increased food security, growing your own food provides a source of fresh produce in case of food shortages or price spikes. Environmental benefits, Growing your own food can reduce the carbon footprint associated with transportation and reduce the use of pesticides and other chemicals. Increased self-sufficiency. Growing your own food helps increase your self-sufficiency and reduce your reliance on external food sources. Improved mental and physical health. Gardening and growing food can improve physical fitness and mental well-being, through the physical activity in connection with nature. Connection with nature, growing your own food provides an opportunity to connect with nature, learn about the environment, and appreciate the beauty of the natural world. Step 7. Shop at Farmer's Markets Consider shopping at local farmer's markets for fresh produce and other products. Prices are often lower and you'll be supporting local farmers. Fresh and nutritious produce, farmer's markets offer fresh, locally grown produce that is often picked at peak ripeness, meaning it is more nutritious and flavorful. Supports local economy, shopping at farmers market supports local farmers and their communities, keeping money within the local economy. Sustainable farming practices, many farmers at markets use sustainable and environmentally friendly farming practices. Unique and seasonal options, Farmers markets often offer unique and seasonal produce that is not commonly found in supermarkets. Community experience 
farmers markets provide a community gathering place and a social experience, promoting a sense of community and connection. Tell us in the comments which strategy you've been using when going to the supermarket. And if you liked this video, subscribe to our channel.